<laughs> okay, we're uh, here we are. Welcome back. Yeah, we're just having a nice conversation about your Christmas luncheon. <laughs> no, Easter luncheon. As uh, we managed to have a pretty nice afternoon. Hey, it wasn't bad at all. I think the kids enjoyed it, and yes. we all did. Yeah, you know, we were talking about the decreasing clouds for today, and they managed to get out of here pretty quickly. By around lunchtime early afternoon we managed to get up to 67 degrees here in oklahoma city still a little bit cooler than we should be we should be in the low 70s how about a 90 in midland 89 in el paso 88 in corpus christi the heat's building folks and we're dry the drought will help the heat and we're going to surge this heat into a good portion of the state not only wednesday with near record high temperatures but for the rest of the week uh, beyond wednesday a little bit more uh, warm and humid type of weather pattern, more typical late April into May kind of weather pattern. We'll have to see if we can squeeze out some showers and thunderstorms in the process of that. We need the rain. 55 degrees, a live look from American Fidelity from the Pike Pass Sky Cam Network. Hopefully you had an enjoyable weekend. It's been quiet here weather-wise, a little bit cool. We have the clouds around, sprinkles around yesterday, but here today it was nice and sunny here for the afternoon. And with those clear skies, the dry air in place, the cool air mass that's moved in. Look at these temperatures already down in the lower 40s there in northern Osage County up towards Ponca City. And this will be the area that some frost will be possible here tonight and tomorrow morning. Yes, frost. We're still talking about it. Now here across the metro, northern half the state, but we'll be in the 30s here even across the metro. We'll go 39, 37 in Stillwater, and there will be some pockets that could fall down towards the freezing level. Not a lot of locations, I think 33, 34. Uh, but again, those low line areas, uh, when you not see the wind, we'll see a little bit of frost out there. As you can, frost advisory planted for northern and northwest Oklahoma as 39, 43, 55 by lunchtime. It's going to be a sunny day. And a nice mild day, just like today, with that little bit of a northeast breeze. Temperatures will make it back up into the middle 60s. As you can see, low to mid-60s to low 70s here off towards the south. So a pretty good start to the work week. We've been talking about it because of the fire threat, the ongoing drought. Look at all the months here since October. Last October was our last month that we actually had a surplus or above average uh, rainfall. You can see all this. We're nearly seven and a third inches of rain below average since July of last year. And uh, we're going to try to bring in some weather systems. Look at the dry air in place. There's a little piece of energy here that'll come in Tuesday. This one will be the one that we'll have to watch late week into next weekend, okay? This first system is going to be moisture starved. It's kind of a weakening weather system. We'll try to squeeze out some showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. Does not look severe. Well, actually, the weather system's weakening. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we'll have a kind of lid in the atmosphere, but we'll have the heat and humidity. So couldn't rule out an isolated shower and thunderstorm. And then a bigger weather system. Look at all the energy here in the jet stream. We'll bring in a wall of showers and thunderstorms, I think, Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. This weather system has been moving a little bit faster uh, per the latest data. We need it to slow down because we need a wall of rain to slowly move across the state because we need that rain. Tuesday, again, a couple showers and thunderstorms, temperatures into the 60s, some showers out to the west. Best chance lunchtime into the afternoon here across Oklahoma City. I think maybe a better chance across South Central as that weather system is weakening. And again, look at the rain chances. Yeah, not that high. What will be high is our high temperature on Wednesday. We'll go for 90 degrees. I'm forecasting 90. Our record's 91 because dry air will come in. Southwest flow, a little compressional heating ahead of this front. We'll go 90 to the low to mid 90s, maybe some upper 90s across Southwest Oklahoma, 70s to the north. 80s to the east. So 60s the next two days, a couple showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday, 90 on Wednesday, 80s, warm, humid, windy, and then those better rain chances Saturday into Saturday night. So